Welcome to the Hygiena, Ensure, and SystemSure Plus Quick Start Guide. In this video, we will cover what comes in the box, keypad functions, screen display and icons, menu options, and quick tips. Let's get started. The first section is box components. The first thing you'll notice is the Certificate of Conformity. This certificate declares that the manufacturing of this product is in compliance with ISO standards and the instrument is in calibration. Next, the Helpful Tips pamphlet is a quick guide that walks you through the meter's features. You can post the pamphlet on bulletin boards for easy staff access. Another helpful tool is the fingertips. Use fingertips to quickly reference the keypad and screen icons. The next item is SureTrend software. SureTrend helps you track, trend, and analyze all of your test results. Alongside the install disk, you will find the operator's manual. To connect your meter to your computer and upload test data to SureTrend, use the USB cable. However, SureTrend will not be covered in this video. Click on the link below for more information. For hands-free movement and extra security, use the carrying case. You can also carry test devices in the zipper pocket located on the back. Also included is the lanyard, which can be threaded through the hole on the left-hand side of the meter. Another helpful hands-free tool is the meter stand. Inside the carrying case, you will also find two AA batteries. Insert the batteries into the back of the meter. Now that the batteries are inserted, a prompt will appear to set the date and time. Using the OK button and the up and down arrows, you can adjust the highlighted value. First, choose between a 12-hour and 24-hour clock, then set the time. Next, choose a month, day, year, or day, month, year format, then set the date. Every time batteries are changed, you will be prompted to set the date and time. Stored test results will not be affected. After time and date are set, the instrument will perform a 15-second countdown while it runs a calibration verification check. The next section is keypad functions. Navigating the keypad is easy and can be done with one hand. The red button on the left is the power button. To the right, the star button brings up the menu options and also acts as an exit button. The arrows are your scroll buttons. The OK is your select button. The P button brings up all your program locations. These program locations are your swapping areas, which you can edit in SureTrend. The I button brings up statistics of past cautions and fails currently recorded on the meter. Scroll up or down to see failed locations. Now we will cover screen display and icons. Test results are measured in relative light units. A pass or fail result is dependent upon the program threshold. Any RLU score less than the lowest threshold is a pass and will be indicated by a check mark. A score in between the pass or fail threshold is a caution and will be indicated by an exclamation point. Lastly, a score greater than the top threshold is a fail and will be marked with an X. A program is a test or swab location for your facility, and a test plan is a list of arranged locations. Both of these features can be customized using SureTrend software. Other icons you will see on the screen are the test counter and retest icons. The test counter counts how many tests are stored on the memory of the meter. The retest icon identifies that the failed location has been retested. The retest result icon identifies the score of the retest. Located on the bottom of the results screen, you will see the time and date stamp. At times, the lid icon may flash at the top left of the screen. This indicates that either the lid needs to be closed or the data port flap needs to be readjusted. When an up arrow appears, this means that a swab needs to be removed. The insert icon's arrow flashes when the machine is ready to measure a test device. When the low battery icon is displayed on the screen, it's time to change the batteries. After you've programmed your meter and run a test, your screen will show the remove test icon, a pass caution fail icon, the RLU result, the location number and name, the test plan number and name, the pass-fail limits, the test counter, and the time and date stamp. Next, let's cover menu options. 
press the star button to access the menu. Using the OK button and the up and down arrows, you can scroll through the menu options. The first two menu items, user IDs and test plans, can only be customized using SureTrend software. These options allow you to add operator names to the system and arrange a list of locations for the operator to test. The next menu item is Programmed Locations. Your meter comes preset with 10 and 30 as its pass-fail thresholds for the first location. You can manually adjust these limits using the keypad or through SureTrend software. The next option will display statistics of all the stored results. Use the keypad to scroll through all the failed test locations. The memory option lets you know how much memory is currently being used and how many tests have been taken. The clock option allows you to set or change the time and date format. The LCD screen setting allows you to adjust the screen's brightness. The next menu option is Quick Boot. Turning off the Quick Boot function enables a full diagnostic check and calibration verification during power on. Standby mode is used to control when the meter will automatically turn off when not in use. The default is up to 20 minutes. Standby mode also features warning beeps. When the warning beeps are enabled, the meter will beep every 10 seconds, one minute before power off. The bold text option can help readability on the screen. In certain cases, such as training, ad hoc testing, or during evaluation of the system, users may not want to save test results. Turn the save test feature to off and all tests taken in this mode will not be reported. Now we will cover quick tips. Turning on the backlight. When turning on the meter, hold the power button for five seconds to boot the system with a backlight. The removable re-chamber allows you to easily clean the chamber if product debris gets inside. The easiest way to remove the re-chamber is by inserting your finger into the chamber and lifting it out. To clean the re-chamber, soak it in warm soapy water, rinse, and dry. Make sure the re-chamber is completely dry before replacing it back into the meter. Tucking the flap. If the flap is not tucked, the lid will not completely close, allowing light into the reed chamber. This causes a common E6 error to appear on the screen. To make the error disappear, simply retuck the rubber flap down and make sure the lid is closing completely. This concludes the Hygiena Ensure and SystemSure Plus Quick Start Guide. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with our newest videos. If you have any questions, feel free to contact Hygiena with the information on the screen. With 24-7 customer service and technical support, Hygiena is here to help.